Welcome back to Chow Time Pod. It's your host, Red. I got a video today from MVN Kind 2. The audacity of this woman to shame her husband on TikTok while he's building her a deck. Please like subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. Let's get that chow. It's chow time. You're not going to believe this. The other day, my husband was looking at our two-year-old and he said, your nails are so short. They're always so short. And then he looked over at me and said, how come her nails don't grow? Does that mean she has like a vitamin deficiency? Keep in mind she's two. And what this means is he has never cut or filed her nails in over two years. So I started thinking, wow, he doesn't know that I do that. I wonder if he knows how her butt gets clean. I wonder if he has any idea why her teeth are always white. There must be so many things he doesn't know or doesn't have to worry about. How amazing that must be. If I could change places with anyone in this world, I think it would be my husband. What a privilege. In his world, the mini trash cans empty themselves. His mirror never has toothpaste splashes on it. Little by little, his house becomes more aesthetically pleasing and he has no idea how or why. He doesn't have to worry about giving the children their vitamins. He lives in a world where he doesn't know that you have to vacuum under the cushions of a couch. Tag your husband if he's one of the elite and knows these things. You oh my God. I really try to get through that without saying much, but that was infuriating. This is how women think of their husbands? Yes, I might not know some of these things. Do you know how I'm much how I make my money? Do you know all the grueling shit I have to do at work? Do you know how to build this deck? Do you know where the money comes from that just appears in your bank account for you to be able to spend and do whatever the fuck you want? You need to shut the fuck up. What did she hope to accomplish by making this video? I just, I just find this entire thing completely ironic because you, you watch this video and you go in the comments and you, and you read the comments of the women agreeing with her. And all they're doing is bashing men, talking about, oh, they need to help us with the work that we do. All the while having zero appreciation or even recognition for anything that the men do. It's just totally ironic how, how self-centered and hypocritical the whole thing is. If the other side is they always talk about, oh, you need to be able to know how to build shit. You need to be able to know how to do home repairs. You need to be able to do all that shit. The man knows how to do it. He's fucking doing it. And you're still bitching about all the little things that he doesn't do and he doesn't know about. That's the whole point of having a wife to handle the parts that he might not know about. Just like he handles all the shit that you don't fucking know about or handle yourself. You dirty fucking whore. And can you imagine the video in reverse? Imagine the guy watched his, his wife clipping the toenails of their daughter and he was behind a glass door making a video saying, oh, this bitch, this bitch, all she does is clip toenails and fucking have sing-along time while I go to work 12 hours a day through stress. And then I gotta come home and build a deck? What the fuck, who, who does this bitch think she is? I mean, the audacity, this whole thing just has me triggered, man. Dude, dude, me and him <laughs> I'm so triggered by this. <laughs> Don't see you out there building a deck. Do you know how that gets built or how to cut lawn, etc.? This made my blood boil. You and me both. We need the husband to respond. She says all this while he's improving their home and sharing time with his daughter. Mm -hmm. he, I just, the complete lack of awareness here is just mental, man. They always want you to you know, spend time with the kids, show the kids things. That's exactly. We can never do anything right in these women's eyes. These women, as in the Western women, guys, there's there's plenty of women, other women that would appreciate everything that we do for them. Maybe instead of making these stupid videos in which you publicly shame your husband, try and communicate those issues to him in private. Yeah, you'd think it's fucking rocket science, honestly. Like, I don't understand this trend of bashing the person that you're supposed to be with, that you're supposed to love in a public forum like this. It it just <laughs> it's a guaranteed divorce is what it is. Now, I wonder what some of these women had to say who were agreeing with her, like this gem here who felt the need to to put her comment in all capitals because she wanted to make sure that everyone see, saw it. I'm sure it's good. You build a deck once every 10 to 20 years. It doesn't compare to daily house maintenance. <laughs> this is exactly the, the what I was talking about, the lack of recognition. Like, do you honestly think that 
building the deck is the only thing the man's gonna do in 10 to 20 years it's fucking mental to say something like this and look at the worksmanship here he's got the curved beam looks like he takes pride in what he does he's spending time with the daughter this is, does not look like a man who doesn't work hard they act like paying the bills isn't something they'd have to do with or without you <laughs> yeah because he'd pay yours and his daughter's bills right when you're not together and the daughter doesn't exist right i mean these are men who are going to work you know, 12 hours a day or whatever to stress and provide for people that they care about. And this is the type of appreciation they're coming home to these days. And she made a response. So let's see how that went. Oh my you God. You guys are not going to believe this. This is the follow-up video from the woman that publicly bashed her husband while he was literally building a deck and spending time with his daughter. Everyone wants to know, how do you feel about me publicly bashing you on TikTok? Um, I don't know. What are you talking about? I said that you didn't cut our daughter's nails and oh, everyone's I freaking out. Yeah, he doesn't. So? Yeah, so I build decks. Yeah, he builds decks. And I cut the nails. Are we a team or what? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh you fucking whore. Now we're a team? Now we work together? Now, I thought he didn't do anything. I didn't know anything. Oh, God. Ooh, shot. <laughs> Thinks we should get a divorce. <laughs> I don't know. So, what you have to learn here. You didn't even tell him the whole truth. And it's obvious the man did not see the TikTok. So, you literally just told him the bare minimum for him to not know what the fuck was going on. There is, instead of saying that our relationship is toxic, what you should realize is if you're offended by our relationship, you might just be too sensitive to be in a healthy relationship in a healthy relationship you can joke with one another and you can be honest with one another and nobody thinks the other one is toxic or belittle oh i think just fuck off thanks they don't like you i don't like you you are so full of shit. all you're trying to do now is gaslight because you're trying to backpedal after this bullshit video you made I mean, you cannot teach us anything. Anyone who listens to your bullshit is doomed to the same inevitable divorce that you're doomed to. The fact that you're doubling down here just proves how full of shit you really are. I mean, the way he says, um, I don't know, it is so fucking clear to anyone with any sense that he has more to say there. He's just trying to keep the peace at home. It could be that, or he actually truly doesn't know. Like, he might not be a TikTok guy. He might not fucking see social media. He's a fucking builder. He's a carpenter. He's fucking working with his hands and busy fucking making money. I still don't know why we needed to know anything about it at all. Yeah, and now on top of, of airing out her dirty laundry on TikTok, she's also trying to justify bashing her husband in a public forum. You know, I mean, please, lady, please give us more marriage tips. This shit is gold. <laughs> My guess is that after years of petty fights, he's just done. Yeah, he's stuck. Yeah, that, that's really the way it seems, right? She damn sure left out some context when she said that to him. She should show him the video, then see his response. Yeah, That's I mean, it's what pretty I was clear saying. That he doesn't know what she's talking about. I doubt he's seen the video. And look, anyone with any sense knows that you cannot judge a relationship from the outside in. You damn sure can't judge a relationship from, from a one-sided story, right? And that's why I said you, you need to make him make the same video from behind a glass door and see how full of shit it makes her look. You can see in the video he's not happy, <laughs> clearly. He just doesn't want to say anything because he wants to keep peace at home. Yeah. Oh, now they're a team. This lady is wild. <laughs> it might be five or 10 years down the line, but this divorce is guaranteed. He needs to leave. She, she straight bashed him. Now she's trying to backpedal. Yeah, this this whole fucking thing just, just made my blood boil. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. To all who's outside today, working in this weather, man or woman, building the infrastructure of these cities, I just want to say respect. I just want to say thank you. And I want to say stay warm. Be proud of yourself. I appreciate you. Do it. Yeah. Secret. I f***ed my best friend's dad. <laughs> what was he, hot? Hot as f***ing still. Eight inches. Period. 
Oh my god. What the fuck is this world? <laughs> what have they done to us? You know, we're always saying that people are constantly trying to show you exactly who they are. All you gotta do is watch, right? You got the woman in the opening clip. Now you got this one on camera, essentially bragging about what kind of shitty people they are. I mean, look, just choose wisely, gentlemen. The last thing you want to do is end up sharing a home with one of these prize winners. And look, we cannot forget to mention what an L fucking dad move that is. I mean, what a Agreed. piece of shit. What the fuck is this world? What have they done to us? Cheating on me? That's easy. But trying to stop your car with no fucking brake pads ain't. You're a problem. You're a real, real problem. So, like two days ago, I got arrested by my ex-boyfriend because I was banging on his window because he got mad about me sleeping with some other guy. She belongs to the street. Either way, he got me arrested. I was handcuffed. And I was so sad and I was so mad. But I still banged on his window multiple times. Oh, oh, oh you crazy. Run. <laughs> Just a little bit. You gotta love how she kind of tries to downplay that oh, I was sleeping with somebody else. And I can guarantee that she was doing more than banging on his window. Bro did the right thing here because it looks like she's got something seriously wrong with her. I've dealt with women who were breaking in my fucking window at 2 o'clock in the morning. He needs to take a step further and get a restraining order and change his fucking locks. Where are you going? My door. Without me? Yeah. Fair. <laughs> my man. Do you want to know why he's not texting you right now? Hey, Grimlock. Yes, we go. Transform. Oh, we saw this clip last time. I love it. I really need me one of these. I need an Optimus Prime version of it. The Gorilla Optimus Prime. It's time. Awesome. Sometimes I get sent out with a shopping list and my wife's like, do you want me to explain that to you? And I'm like, I think I can handle it. And then I got to the grocery store, I'm like, what is a shallot? You know what I'm saying? How many avocados is avocados? Like if I mess that up, are we gonna be eating guacamole for the next week? Apples, cinnamon, shit take mushrooms, that's a little rude. Tomato sauce, dill weed, what, what aisle is that in? Milk, that's, that's way too vague. Okay, my house, we go through stuff like oat milk, soy milk, rice milk, coconut milk, almond milk, every kind of milk. The only kind of milk we don't drink is milk. Okay, I don't, I don't even know what milk tastes like anymore. How do you milk an almond? I, this is gonna take me an hour and a half to find all this stuff. I should have asked more questions. Okay, thanks, bye. Shit, I was just playing, but y'all got strawberry? Yeah. Hey, slap me with that strawberry, please, we all. Okay, what else? I don't feel oh, shit, goddamn, what else you got for me? The menu. Okay, all right, that'll be all here. Thanks a lot, thank you. I'm in love, I'm in love, and I don't care who knows it. What is going on here? I feel like a lightning bolt hit the tip of my penis. Like, what'd you think about me when you first saw me? Like, like what'd you think about me? Like, like, what was your first opinion on me when you first saw me? Like, <laughs> actually, <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's funny because it's true. This one had me cracking up, man. How is this so accurate? I didn't even remember I did this shit until I saw this video. How many of y'all did this bullshit when you were younger? You know, I'm starting to think my feelings for you are a little cheesy. <laughs> Guess that makes sense because I'm real fond of you. Can you feel the love tonight? Yeah, Riz Simba. Can you give me a foot massage? Get the fuck out of here. I'm not giving you a foot massage. Why? <laughs> I'm not giving you a foot massage either. <laughs> You're a weird motherfucker. I wasn't ready for half the shit I went through, but you know what I did? Put my fucking big boy pants on and I got through it. Sympathy was the last thing I was searching for. I was trying to find myself. Trying to find my direction. That was a start. Trying. How do y'all miss out on opportunities because y'all scared to fail, scared to get let down? And the main person I couldn't let down was myself. Might not make sense now, but it's gonna make sense in the long run. Let's fuck 
fucking go. Let's go, fellas. Put your big boy pants on. There's work to be done. That and if you is. enjoyed the video, please, as usual, like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate y'all. I'll see you in the next one. I have not been in so infuriated in so long over a stupid TikTok. Sometimes. Woosha. Please like subscribe down below. I really appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys next time. Ciao.